Hello everybody, so today I wanted to share with you an update that Microsoft is making to the insider builds of Windows 11. And I wanted to share that with you because some people, this is going to matter because it's not going to let you make the changes that you'd like to when you're in the Windows 11 setup so that you don't have to create a Microsoft account. So let's go over to the computer now so I can share all this with you and even show you a way that you can still bypass it. Okay, so as you can see, Microsoft is no longer playing around when it comes to requiring every Windows 11 device be set up with an internet connected account. In its latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build, the company says it will take out a well-known bypass script that lets end users skip the requirement of connecting to the internet and logging in with a Microsoft account to get through the initialization process of a new PC. As reported by Windows Central, Microsoft already requires users to connect to the internet, but there's a way to bypass it the bypass NRO command. And if you haven't gotten a chance to watch the video that I created where I show you how to use that bypass NRO command, you can click right up here and watch that video where I show you all the steps you have to take in order to bypass the internet connection and creating a Microsoft account. Now, for those setting up computers for businesses or secondary users, or simply on the principle they want to refuse to link their computer to a Microsoft account, like me, because I really don't want to have Microsoft accounts for all the different copies of Windows that I set up, as I set up a bunch of them, I just want to create a local account. The command is super simple to activate during the Windows setup process. Now, Microsoft site security is one reason it's making this change. We're removing the bypass nro.cmd script from the build to enhance security and user experience of Windows 11. This change ensures that all users exit setup with internet connectivity and a Microsoft account. Since the bypass NRO command is disabled in its latest beta build, it will likely be pushed to production versions within weeks. But all hope is not yet lost. As of right now, the script can be reactivated with a registry edit by opening a command prompt during the initial setup, which most of the time is by pressing Shift and F10 on your keyboard. But... There are other times that when you press shift and F10, it will not open the command prompt. You might have to do function shift and F10 or control shift and F10. I'm going to include a list of all the different options and key combinations that I know of in order to get the command prompt to open for all the different computers. And I'm going to include it down in the video description. Now, if you run across a different one for your machine, and it's not one of them that I've listed, please let me know so that I can update the video description so that other people will be able to look and see and know which key command to press in order to get the command prompt to pull up in their Windows 11 setup. But after you get the command prompt to open, you run this command, which just adds a registry key for the OOBE, which is called bypass NRO, and it's a D word. And then after it does that first command, then you're going to do the second command, which is to shut down, and you're going to tell it to restart. And then the slash T just says, how much time do you want me to wait before I restart? And you put a zero. So it immediately restarts. And then when it comes back up in the setup, then the bypass NRO would be available. And you can type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO. And then it would work and you would be able to tell you have no internet and you can skip the Microsoft account creation. However, there's no guarantee Microsoft will allow this additional workaround for long. There are other workarounds as well, such as using the unattended.xml automation that lets you skip the initial setup out of the box experience, which I'm going to show you how to use that one as well. And it's not straightforward though, but it does make more sense for IT departments setting up multiple computers because it does make it much easier once you already have it configured 
then you can just go and immediately roll it out to all the computers, however many you have, 50, 100, thousands, as many as you'd like. Now, as of late, Microsoft has been making it harder for people to upgrade to Windows 11 while also nudging them to move on from Windows 10, which will lose support in October of this year, which is 2025. Now, the company is cracking down on the ability to install Windows 11 on older PCs that don't support TPM 2.0, and they're also hounding you with full-screen ads to buy a new PC. Now, Microsoft is even removing the ability to install Windows 11 with old product keys. But don't worry, because I'm going to show you how you can still bypass TPM 2.0. You can even bypass the RAM requirements, the CPU requirements to an extent, because you still have to have certain commands that are built into the processor in order for it to allow you to even install Windows 11 at this point. And then you can also bypass the secure boot. But I'm going to show you how to do all that. If you'll just click the link right up here, in that video, I show you how to take your Windows 11 setup and install it on a computer that doesn't even support any of those. The CPU, the RAM, the TPM, or the secure boot. And then you can go ahead and get Windows 11 up and running on that computer. So I hope that was helpful on how you can still get Windows 11 even on the brand new Insider Edition of Windows 11 to install, and you can still skip the internet and the Microsoft account being set up in the out-of-box experience. If you do have any questions about this, or you'd just like for me to go into more depth about it, please let me know down below in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to you about it. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything that you'd like for me to make a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well. And I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you'd like to support this channel, I included a link in the video description where you can buy a cup of coffee for me if you'd like to. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, Hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like, did you know that Microsoft is making another change to the Windows 11 Insider builds? And how can we still bypass NRO so that we don't have to have the Microsoft account or have internet while we're setting up the Windows 11? And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.